Water has a number of roles in the body, and it, by and large, it, it forms structure. So it, it fills the cell and gives the cell um, uh, a, a volume in which other molecules can move around in. So it disperses all those other molecules into the body. Um, it transports. It's part of obviously part of blood. So it's a, it's involved in transporting things around the body, whether that's you know oxygen or 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 fats or carbohydrates for energy, for example, all those things have to be reported, uh, transported around the body. Um, within uh, within uh, the movement, you know, whether it's at a joint level or at a muscle level, the water and the volumization of cell allows the, at a muscle, allows the myofibrils to move across one another and so forth. So it acts, there it's acting as a lubricant. And, and obviously it acts in terms of helping to manage the, the heat in your body. And so it, it avoids you, um, you avoid yourself getting hot by actually perspiring. So, so uh, perspiration is a, is a way that water is lost from the body and that's all about controlling the temperature of your body. So water or the fluid systems in your body have a multitude of functions. Um, and what you want is to ensure you, con uh, you consume enough water to manage those. How, what's enough? How much do you need to consume? Well, if you were nil by mouth in hospital, we would give you three litres of fluid a day um, and, you, and that would come into you as in a drip. So we put um, normally something like uh, normal cyanide or Hartman solution up and you'd have three of those bags, one every eight hours over the course of the day. We don't encourage people to drink three litres of fluid a day because you get about one litre of fluid from the foods that you're going to eat. So the other two litres of fluid you're going to get, we're going to suggest you drink. And that means drinking about eight glasses where, that's this way here, you know, this is drink eight glasses of water a day. Where did that come from? Well, that's the two litres of fluid you would expect to consume because you're going to get one litre of fluid from the foods that you eat. But that's the sort of a volume of water you want to drink. And for me, what you want then is that water to be as pure as possible. Um, and so it can do its job and you don't want to con uh, contaminate it with other chemicals which just increase the load on the body which it doesn't need to have.